Martin's joined us. Uh, we've got some money-saving tips uh, as usual, but let's start with Fly B. Lots of people will be concerned this morning, Martin. They will be, uh, and thoughts go with, of course, the staff, first yes, of all, who have heard potentially staff. looking at losing their jobs. The check-ins Fly B has helped fill for 40 years, empty today. A gap left in regions across the UK. Flybee's collapse ending its promise it's faster than road or rail. The terminal at its headquarters in Exeter looking like a ghost town. So I'm here in Southampton Airport and considering only a couple days ago this was an airport. Considering a couple days ago this was an airport that got around 2 million passengers every year and now it's just silent. You look at the car park, no cars, there's about three here which I guess are just like staff or people that actually are taking one of the three flights today. Um, EasyJet still operating, um, Ongri Air, um, now Blue Islands are still operating. They were um, originally operating with Flybe as Flybe flights. Now they're operating on their own individually as Blue Island. Um, now Eastern Airways and Logan Air are starting flights here very shortly to kind of cover some of the ground that Flybe lost. Um, and it's a bit, it's weird. This was a hub of like the south coast this was the airport you went to if you needed a flight from the south coast and now it's just desolate i was originally coming here to spot the easyjet flight um it's it was due to leave about now nine o'clock i don't know where it is I, like this is a smallish airport you can see all of the gates from this car park where i am and it's not here i don't know where it's gone i'll find more information about that where it's gone uh, but EasyJet fly one route to Geneva every Saturday winter seasonally um, and it's not here so I don't know what that is I'm maybe going to catch some Ongris um, coming from Alderney and Guernsey but apart from that this airport is dead uh, Blue Island still operating as I said two, two of those flights have just left we don't get another two flights until they come back then Ongri, there's a couple ones now, um, one in about an hour, and then that's it for the rest of the day. It's amazing that, you know, a couple days ago there was about 60, 50, 60 odd flights, maybe more, I don't really know. Um, but now you can literally count the number of flights on one hand. It's, it's kind of spooky in a way. Um, but yeah is just an interesting thing to see really yeah I think ultimately one of the things that's really sad is just seeing these Q400s out on the ramp like this you know these are over a decade old and you know they've just been flying backwards and forth to different places around Europe and this is probably the first time they've just sat here and chances are they'll be sitting here for a very long time. These are all in various liveries that Flybe have had over their many years, some in the original uh, white and baby blue livery, some of them are in the purple livery which is personally my favourite and some of them are in in-between liveries with different parts of the plane painted in different ways. It's just, it's really sad to see these planes like this because these should be you know, cruising at 25,000 feet, but 
they're here at zero feet. The airport itself is just desolate. Of course, buses are still operating as they need to um, to drop off and pick up nobody because nobody is at that drop curve. Um, I, I haven't seen a single passenger today. Uh, despite there still being eight flights, um, there was nobody. There are a few cars in the car park, um, a decent amount, but chances are is there are people that you know, flew out to somewhere in Europe or around the UK and now can't get back to their home in Southampton. Of course the control tower is still manned, um, you know it is still an active airport even with just eight flights now. It's still going to be manned and you can see it's still in operation of course. It will be interesting to see as well what they do with these uh, flyby adverts. Um, yeah, I wonder what they'll replace them with. This could be, you know, Logan Air adverts, Eastern adverts. Um, TUI actually have a lot of adverts around Southampton Airport despite not going to Southampton. And I think one of the one of the things for me that was kind of the the weirdest to see was seeing all of the check-in desks with nobody behind them. Self check-ins are even switched off, and it's just it's just weird to see the airport like this. It's good to see, even though no passengers coming through, Costa is still open and ready for people to order some coffee or have a sandwich. Funny fact is, I did actually apply for a job at the Costa at Southampton Airport. I did manage to get through, however, I decided in the end it was a little bit too far to come every day for work. Um, and it would have been interesting me having to man one of these desks even at this kind of time. It was interesting to see as well, now I'm not that good with uniforms, but judging by the red checkered ties, I believe these guys are from Logan Air. Um, I'm not sure if Logan Air was actually flying any flights on this day, but um, yeah, it was interesting to see that they still have pilots and crew um, ready to go at least, and you know, some of the information desks were still manned, and you know, it's kind of weird to see this, you know, no passengers and just staff. And then of course back out on the uh, drop curb here, literally nobody, no passengers. I hadn't seen a single passenger in my time at Southampton Airport. It, it's just, it's weird to see an airport like this considering, you know, I did that trip to Jersey uh, about a month ago and seeing Southampton with so many people and now it's just completely empty and void of anybody. It's, it's interesting. It's a shame because you can see that flyby livery through there. It was one of the only liveries that wasn't a Euro white. Like, look at that beautiful purple livery and the colours on the back. Like, that was a nice livery. And now it's probably not going to go to a great home. It's not looking like it's going to have a second life. This is Flight Radar 24. Not a plane in sight. Cancel, cancelled. Even though these say scheduled, it's flyby, so it'll be cancelled. We got one, two, three, four, four flights in one day. And considering <laughs> the other day, look at all of these flights in one day. Sad times. One thing I do want to talk about though is the future or the potential future of Southampton Airport. Now I read an article a month or two back that was saying that if Flybe do go, now they have, the airports like Southampton Airport and Belfast City would have to close. Now I don't think Southampton Airport will close, I think it will manage to pull through, especially with now Logan Air and um, Eastern starting flights, I have the details here, so Eastern are going to be starting flights to Leeds, Manchester, Newcastle and Teesside, while Logan Air will be covering more of the Scottish airports like Edinburgh, Glasgow and then not Scottish but still England, uh, Newcastle as well. 
As well, it will be interesting to see if either Air France or KLM do come back to Southampton. Both Air France and KLM were at some point operating flights from Paris and Amsterdam to Southampton. However, they were kind of kicked out by Flybe as Flybe was also operating flights to Amsterdam and Paris and so there was too much competition. And so it'll be interesting to see if they come back as well. TUI have um, you know, hinted at starting flights to Southampton. That would be very good and very beneficial for the airport as well. Maybe EasyJet start more flights instead of just to Geneva. Maybe flights to Manchester, Edinburgh, you know, more domestic flights and maybe some to Europe as well. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how, how this all goes down. Flybe were the largest private airline in Europe and it's sad to see them go. But at the end of the day, this stuff happens and, you know, we've just got to learn to move on. It will be interesting as well to see how Southampton Airport adapts and to be honest I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how they how they take this challenge and run with it because because as I said this stuff happens and it's down to an airport to pull through when something like this does eventually happen. I am thinking about booking a flight on either Logan Air or Eastern um, to somewhere in Europe to see what the quote unquote new flyby will be. Um, these airlines, although they're not Flybe, they are kind of taking the place of Flybe. So I might try and see if I can book myself on a flight out of Southampton to either Leeds or Newcastle or Edinburgh, somewhere like that. Uh, but yeah, it's very interesting. I am kind of sorry for the 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 downtone of this video. I felt it was a little bit more suited. Is it something a little bit sadder? Um, I know um, some of you that are even subscribed did work for Flybe. I've had a few DMs from people that um, were saying like they've been working for Flybe for a long time and you know it's going to be a challenge to pull through. So anybody who did work for Flybe or anybody who books flights on Flybe, I do wish you the best of luck trying to sort all of that out. Um, it is difficult but I'm sure you can pull through. So with that I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.